Deshaun Watson just needs to keep his mouth closed. I know he isn't saying anything too crazy, but he's already under a lot of heat for obvious reasons, and just recently, he was throwing shots at the Pittsburgh Steelers defense, who he is 0-3 against. And again, he isn't saying anything that crazy to where karma could come back and bite him, but it's almost just like, dude, what's even the point? Basically, in a recent podcast episode, he explained just how easy it is to manipulate the team into what the Browns want. He said, the biggest thing is to get the defense in what we want to get the defense in, and that's a base defense, especially a team like Pittsburgh. When they're in a base defense, they don't play too many coverages, they're kind of very schemed as to how they play. So once we had this situation, alright cool, we got them exactly how we want it, and then you just run a play and react. Watson in his career against Pittsburgh on the Browns has 5 touchdowns to 4 interceptions. I do expect that to change in the upcoming years, but for now, he doesn't have much room to say anything like this. And last season as a whole, before his injury, he only put up just over 1,100 yards with 7 touchdowns and 4 interceptions, but he did have a great record when he played. But a lot of that credit needs to go over to Jim Schwartz and the defense. But I will say, Pittsburgh fans themselves really haven't been too happy about the play of the team over the past 5 years or so. They are tired of the 9-8 first round exit mediocrity. As a Cleveland fan, I like to call them spoiled a lot, but when all you're used to is success and winning is the standard, I can see why the recent play is unacceptable. But it's just crazy to me that a guy who has won a Super Bowl and hasn't had a below 500 season in two decades is on the hot seat. But I mean, if Pittsburgh fires him, I would love for the Browns to get him in a heartbeat. But going back to Watson, this is going to be a make or break season for him and the Browns. Last year already was, but he got injured, so I guess he was able to put off the criticism another year. But now, Andrew Barry put even more talent around him, so he has to step up and put up some of the numbers he is being paid to put up. He's going to be the highest paid QB in the league, and obviously that means there is less to work with for the roster around him. So he's going to have to make up for those roster deficits, just like Mahomes does. As the season starts to approach, Browns fans always get super excited, and just a week ago, Watson made an appearance at his new restaurant's grand opening, and when asked about his health, he said he will be ready to go for week one. So take that for what it's worth, but it's a pretty good sign and thing to hear. Anyways, all I know is that Watson better be ready to go this year, and after talking about how easy it is to break down the Steelers defense, he better go 2-0 against them, or else he is going to face some major backlash. Also, getting off topic, some new Browns news that just came out is that Nick Chubb restructured his contract to a more team friendly deal. I just absolutely love this guy, and he is the heart and soul of this franchise. I hope the Browns keep him around forever. That's really all I have to say for this video, thank you all so much if you made it to this point, and if you enjoyed and haven't yet, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, because your support truly means the world. And also, let me know what you would like to see next, and until then, I will see you all later.